Hi everyone, this is Yakir from Mark Intelligence. Today, we're going to learn how to use the Line Scatter tool in the environment for Revit plugin. The Line Scatter feature allows you to replicate objects and array them along a path, while keeping the object relative to this path according to predefined settings. You can define the distance between elements, their position, elevation, rotation, and more. Let's see how it works. Go to the Environment tab, click on the drop-down arrow next to the Area Scatter tool, and select Line Scatter. The Line Scatter dialog box has opened. We'll start by defining our path. To do that, we can either draw a new path or select an existing path. Let's choose the Draw Paths option now, and I will get back to the Select Existing option later. Once we click on the Draw Paths button, all of Revit drawing tools will be available on the Modify tab, so you can create the Scatter Path. You can draw a new line or use the Pick Line tool to pick existing model edges. Once you have finished drawing your path, click on Apply Path. Now, you can choose the family you want to place. You can select any one of the families that are loaded to your project by clicking on the drop-down list and selecting the desired family. Or, you can click on the Pick on Screen option and select any existing family from your model. Now, let's define the scatter settings. Choose the distance between the elements. At any point, you can click on Apply to see the results without leaving the command. Use the regular method option to control the scatter by the total number of elements you want to place. After every change you make, click Apply to see the updated results. You can always switch between views and move around to see the elements from a different angle. The randomizing option allows you to randomize the placement of the elements along the line. You can choose different levels of randomizing. Use the Placement Level option to connect the element to a certain level, and use the Offset from Level option to set a vertical distance from this level. And my favorite feature, Find My Host, allows you to automatically find an overlapping element that can be used as a host for each object, and place the object on this hosting element. With the Line Scatter command, you can set a different rotation to the scatter elements. Use the Random Rotation to randomize the rotation of the object. Use the Save Start Angle to identify the original angle of the selected element and place all the elements at the same angle. Or, use the Rotate with Line option to align all the objects relative to the path angle. The Additional Angle option allows you to set an additional rotation angle relative to the original placement angle. Last, you can see in the bottom of the dialog a checkbox for Combine Elements. By marking it, environment will create an assembly of the scattered elements. This will allow you to go back and edit this element in the future. Click Finish Scatter to complete the process and exit the command. Let's move to 3D view and see the result. You can see the resulting lamp post assembly we just created. Since we checked the Combine Elements option in the Line Scatter command, we can now select it again and go to the Environment tab to the Site Ribbon and click on Line Scatter command to edit this assembly of components. When the Line Scatter dialog opens again, pick the Select Existing option and not the Draw Path option. Now, simply pick the assembly that you want to edit and click on Apply Path. You can change the Scatter Path by clicking on Change Path. In the Draw Path mode, Revit is in a constant state of drawing so we will need to use the mouse to work with the various editing tools. Once your path is done, you can use all the editing tools in the Line Scatter dialog to edit the element placement. Last but not least is the Keep Related Position option. This allows you to place the components along the path while keeping them related to the original position of a source component in your model. To use this option, you will need to first have an element located in your model, and then, in the Line Scatter window, select the Pick on Screen option. Let's see how it works. First, I will place one component in the model. Now, let's go to the Environment tab again, 
and click on Live Scatter and draw the scatter path. Now, select the Pick on Screen option and select the component to be scattered. Check the Keep Related Position option and click Apply to see the results. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more new videos.